Let's talk about the perfect top of backswing position. First of all, what does it look like? And more importantly, how do I get there? I've got a simple drill of getting the club light that's gonna answer that question for you. I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction at US Golf TV. And I know this, when I see a student and they've got the club in a pretty solid position at the top, odds are they're gonna hit good quality golf shots, but a lot of them don't understand how to get there. So here's what you should be looking for. I've got a six iron. Now, we're gonna talk about a reference point at the top of the swing. When I'm gripping the club here, and I've got a, a relatively neutral grip, let's say, okay? I can see a couple knuckles on my lead hand, my thumb's nice and tight. We've done a ton of videos on a good grip position, what that looks like. If you've got questions, check those out. But here at the top, the club head relative to the hands can be in basically three different positions. It could be where the club head is what we call behind the hands, which would look like that. Some instructors teach that. I'm not saying it's a bad position, it's just a position. The club head could be in line with the hands. So notice how the club head is basically on a straight line with the hands. I like to call that like a neutral position. It's my preferred position, personally. Or the club head could be what we call across the line. Okay, now there are some great ball strikers who've gotten the club in that position and still hit great shots. Matter of fact, there are some coaches who actually teach that. So, you've got laid off, you've got neutral or down the line, and you've got across the line, all right? So when you're looking at your swing from a down the line view, that's what you wanna be looking at. People are, lots of times they're looking at a lot of different things, but as a coach, the first thing I'm looking for is what's the relationship between the hands and the club head. Now, there is no magic bullet to this, but in general, I mean, the, if the club is in a good position at the top, you're gonna hit good shots. So how do we find that position? Well, let's talk about the drill. I call it the light drill. When I swing the club back, and my lead arm right here is parallel to the ground, okay? When the club is neutral, okay, the club head, is gonna feel light. If you put the club in this position right here, at practice, at home, or at the golf course, the club head is gonna feel relatively light. If you lay it off, it's gonna feel heavy. I can feel the weight right now on my waist. That would reference this spot right here. So in general, heavy is going to equate to lay it off. Not bad, not good, it's a position. We talked about that, okay? If you take it back and it was this way, it still feels heavy, but it feels heavy in a different way than that does, okay? So it's here, see the difference? That would equate to more of that position at the top. So let's go back to what I think you should be striving for, which is neutral. When you swing the club back, I want it to feel light, okay? And I'm gonna show you a way to practice that here in just a second also. So let me do a couple rehearsals, and I'm gonna hit a shot. I love this. Matter of fact, this is one of the concepts Okay, I'm just feeling the light feel. It's one of the concepts I teach in the vertical line swing. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Vertical line swing, it's got some great information on there, especially for you know who's out there, my experienced golfers, right? All right, so here we go. Let me do a rehearsal, I'm gonna get it light. There it is, now I'm just gonna make a swing and try to re replicate that particular feel. So. How do you check that? I mean, you can check it because you can feel it in your hands, but another good reference point would be this. When you're set in there and you take it back, lead arm parallel to the ground, the butt end of the club should be pointing somewhere between your toe line and the target line. If you do that, the club's gonna be nice and light. If it's heavy, see where the butt end of the club's pointing? It's pointing way out there by those bucket of balls. So as a vi on a video, that's what I'm gonna look for. I'm gonna look for where's that butt end of the club point. So let me go ahead and hit another one here. Okay, now that's really good. Now, I wanna share with you one other thought here on how to get the club in the perfect position at the top. But I gotta tell you, if you haven't already, hey, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you get notifications, but do me a favor. Tell me where you're from. All right, and tell me what other top topics you'd like us to talk about here at US Golf TV, because I love hearing from you. And some of you, you even disagree with me. That's okay, it's all part of the game. And sometimes I'm learning some things from you too, so be a, don't be afraid to put those in the comments. So, the other concept I wanna talk about today 
and helping you understand the perfect backswing position is the direction of the lead arm. We talked about the relationship between the, the hands and the club, but the lead arm is a big factor because you have basically the same three reference points. The lead arm can swing in and around. Okay, some people teach that, right? I don't necessarily like that, especially for my older golfers. It can swing more straight back or it can swing a little bit out. Now I think ideally the lead arm should just swing more straight back. All right? We've talked about that before in some of our other videos on the vertical line. Okay? So it swings more straight back. So the ideal position to get to the top is to swing it back where your lead arm swings more straight back and the club head feels light. So when you practice it, just swing it back, boom, there's one. Let's do a little three setter, there's two. You know I love my three setters, there's three. Now I've got the feel. Let's replicate it. Pretty solid. All right, those couple tips right there are gonna help you find the perfect top of backswing position. If you get to that spot, more than likely, you're gonna start hitting better golf shots.